I got my hands on the new limited edition Astrobot PS5 DualSense controller. This looks really cool, so we're gonna unbox it and take a closer look, so let's get into it. So taking a look around the box, you can see we've got the Astrobot logo on the side there and on the back with a bunch of these Astrobots surrounding the controller. It looks really, really cool, uh, but otherwise a standard box. So with the box sliced open, we can take out the controller and the packaging seems the same as what we've had for the last few months, this sort of egg carton type packaging. I guess it's quite recyclable, but um, yeah, nothing special in terms of the packaging. And taking the controller out, wow, look at that. That looks so cool. This blue and white theme looks insane. Let's take a closer look. Wow, the controller is actually almost fully glossy on the front sides around the D-pad and around the face buttons. I didn't notice that on the pictures. I thought only the blue part was glossy. But you can see here, it's like a metallic paint finish. You can see it's got all of that, almost like a shimmer to it. Um, and then the white parts are glossy. The rest of it is a matte white finish. Uh, so it's quite comfortable to hold still. The, the glossy part isn't kind of too uh, fingerprinty or sweaty because it's not around the whole controller. Um, the white analogs and the front plate looks so good. We've got the texture here. And if you notice, the buttons have the logos in this light blue color, really cool. And then on the touchpad, we've got those Astrobot eyes on there. The touchpad is really smooth as well. It feels smoother than a regular DualSense controller. That's really nice. Slightly textured as well on the eyes. You can kind of feel the, the little bumps there, but otherwise it is sort of a fully matte finish. The rest of the controller feels normal, just like a normal dual sets controller. On the back, we can see the back plate is fairly standard. We've just got this small little Astrobot symbol there on the back. And we even have white triggers and shoulder buttons here, which looks really good, giving that all white look at the back. But if we also take a look at the print on the back of the controller, normally this you can have a look at to see what sort of model uh, this controller is and whether they've revised the the controller or if the internals are different which i am still really curious to open up i mean so far it's looking like the exact same model number as our previous dual sense controllers but sony do like to switch things up every now and again when they release new colors or new editions of the dual sense they secretly change a few things inside um, and kind of update the controllers. So there's been some rumors about a potential updated internal motherboard on the new DualSense controllers. Our previous model was the BDM40, um, but there's rumors about a BDM50 going about. And since this is a new controller from Sony, the Astrobot limited edition controller, I wanna open it up and see inside if this is the latest version or if it's still the same. So let's open it up and take a look. So with the four screws removed, we can start separating this back shell and we should be able to just pop that apart. There we go. So it looks like internally is the same. The battery is the same. Um, nothing to indicate that this is a updated board like we've had in previous color change where we had the deep earth collection that the whole board was was different. Uh, slightly and the trigger assembly was different to the previous dual sensors um, although they feel the same uh, slightly different inside but this looks to be the same as the previous bdm40 motherboards on the last dual sense that we have just going to take the battery cover off just going to remove the battery cover as well so we can take a look underneath Yep, everything still looks the same under here, but if we flip it over, but on the back side of the motherboard, you can see the model number there, uh, and it is still BDM40, uh, which is the latest one I've seen, but there are rumors of a BDM50 model coming or doing the rounds, um, so I think we are expecting to see an upgraded motherboard soon. But other than that, nothing has really changed. I mean, these potentiometers recently have switched to sort of a blue color instead of green, um, which I don't know if it really changes anything. They haven't upgraded the sticks to anything crazy like Hall effect or anything like that. But you can see here, the analog stick potentiometers are this light blue color 
instead of the green which we've had for years even in the ps4 controllers and on the ps5 controllers we've had the same stick modules with the green potentiometers but they've recently seemed to have changed them to blue so whether that means anything whether they've upgraded them improved the durability i'm not sure um, but yeah this is what we have inside of the astrobot controller nothing new nothing special so it is just a limited edition shell but i'm going to get the controller back together now to finish the video so that's a quick look at the new astrobot ps5 controller let me know what you think of it in the comments i think it's a really cool controller and a really nice addition to the collection i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one